this moment I'm here at Panasonic Dubai and I welcome you here at GPP and Panasonic has a very prominent presence here at GPP and GPP is a very popular event that happens with regards to photography as well as videography. So let me quickly introduce to what Panasonic is showcasing here in terms of its exclusivity and in terms of its uh, gadget saving cameras. So starting with the, the G series which is uh, very well known for uh, from Panasonic, we have flown in three free production samples straight away from Japan to roll it down into our videographers and professionals who would have their hands on to it. So the long awaited and yet awaited GH5 is available here exclusively at this GPP week. So we invite all of you to please come and have a hands on to this. And uh, the GH5 is packed with a lot of futuristic features such as 4x2x2 10-bit input recording as well as uh, 400 Mbps hybrid rate recording. The camera is uh, very popular enough and you must have seen or uh, hit the web. Uh, most of the Huawei users of GH4 are keenly looking at the availability of GH5 which should be available in the latest markets from uh, the later part or the second half of April onwards for sales at retail uh, uh, points. Uh, the GH5 is packed with all the features to name a few of them which I have done with the hybrid plates and the inbuilt uh, uh, 10 bit recording also packed with 180 frames per second for your variable frame rates 2 frames to 180 frames per second uh, the camera also features dual SD card slots so if you want to segregate your still photos as well as your videos separately you will be able to do that uh, the camera is slightly bigger in terms of its size and weight as compared to the predecessor GH4 because it, it gears and it holds and hosts a lot of new features which gives the GH4 as an upgrade. Uh, regarding the connectivity points and the output points, it has got an A-type HDMI output as well as a media cable to connect, connect or communicate to your laptop and have your data transferred. Also a very exclusive uh, locking clip that holds and grips the cable so that it does not get disconnected. It's of course got a free angle uh, LCD screen, slightly bigger as compared to the GH4, it's 3.2 in size as compared to 3 just previously. Uh, it's got a selectable dial on the top and of course got a lock so that you'll be able to lock your pre-selections. It's got the uh, controls at your index finger as well as thumb in case you want to control your aperture at, uh, as well as your shutter speeds at the fingertips. This is how the camera looks. The standard kit is with a 12-35mm fixed f2.8 f values lens. And it's a new sensor. The amazing thing about the GH5 is that it's got dual IS. The IS is both on the lens as well as in the body itself. So the sensor stabilization gives a boost to those videographers who would like to shoot the camera handheld. Now, uh, in order to bring out their uh, creativity and also complement their usage of the camera, we have the VG GH5, which is a battery grip, which takes an additional battery into it and then goes below the or fixes at the bottom of the GH5 so that extended recording is possible. We also have and realized as a feedback from the users that audio input is a very important factor for the videographers. Therefore, we have introduced a new unit which is called the XLR1 that fits onto the hot shoe of the GH5 and amazingly it takes the battery from the, the power from the same battery of the GH5. So you don't need any extra battery for that and it gives two XLR inputs that means you can have two mics and all the controls are here. Physically, you'll be able to control the inputs so that you get the best audio that you're looking forward for. And on top of that XLR1, is still a provision for you to have your flash, like the FL580 that goes above that, just in case you'd like to take pictures with the flash. So the camera has built-in Wi-Fi, got most of the features which has been uh, used in the GH4 as well as an upgrade to those features such as center marker, zebra pattern, hue uh, adjustment, or, uh, or uh, any of those uh, videographers that have been prominently using the G85, which is much compact in size, with a standard kit lens of uh, 1442. Also, it's a 4K camera and interchangeable lens. Camera that hosts uh, as choice any of the lenses that the uh, videographer or the photographer would opt for. Uh, let's quickly move on to the GX8, uh, retro type, flat type, micro photo system camera. Uh, uh, viewfinder with a uh, tiltable feature as well as the LCD screen, free angle LCD screen with a hot show on top of it and all the control buttons which, are, which can also do 4K recording. So for consumers who are looking at not a very high end model but at a very uh, mid range or the prosumers, uh, right choice for them. We also have the 
GX85 dress has a stepped on as compared to the GX8 and in my hand is now the GF8. So GF8 is a more compact and a small uh, sized microphone system camera which can still record in 4K while they do the still photography is also equipped with a built-in flash for your still photography and it comes with a standard kit lens 1232. Thank you very much for your valuable time at Panasonic. This is Mama Dakar from Panasonic signing off today.